Whispers and legends echoed throughout the centuries, speaking of the Minoans' strange and powerful abilities. Some told bone-chilling tales of a monstrous creature called the Minotaur, half man, half bull, lurking within a vast, twisted maze. As secrets were unearthed and the truth began to emerge, the dark and puzzling past of the Minoans would set scientists and researchers on a never-ending quest to unlock the terrifying mystery that surrounded this ancient civilization. And so, the spine-tingling story of the Minoans began to unfold. But the main question is, is this the truth? Were Minoans these alien-like human creatures with extraordinary abilities? But what connection do they have with modern people? Well, what scientists found out about this civilization is incredible to say the least. Back in 1900, a British archaeologist named Sir Arthur Evans found an ancient palace on the island of Crete. It was called the Palace of Minos and it was 4,000 years old. When Evans saw the old stuff left in the palace, he realized that it was from a civilization that had disappeared a long time ago. Evans called these people the Minoans. He believed they were originally from northern Egypt, but they were forced to leave by invaders from the south about 5,000 years ago. Some newer archaeologists don't believe what Sir Arthur Evans said about the Minoans. They think that the Minoan civilization actually came from the first farmers who lived on Crete a really long time ago. They found some old DNA in caves on the island that supports this idea. The Minoans lived on Crete for up to 12 centuries until about 1500 BC. At that time, a terrible disaster happened because of a big volcanic eruption on the island of Santorini, which caused a huge tsunami. This event is believed to have destroyed the Minoan civilization. However, scientists disagree on this topic. Graham Hancock talked extensively about many civilizations like Minoan that got lost to history. According to Graham, a very important question to ask is how did civilizations become lost? During the Ice Age, the world was vastly different, with the Sahara Desert being fertile and the Amazon rainforest having enormous structures beneath its deep canopy. As Graham explained on the Joe Rogan experience, rising sea levels submerged 27 million square kilometers of prime real estate at the end of the Ice Age. Yet marine archaeology has not closely studied this area. One example of this is the Bimini Road, a controversial structure made of megalithic rocks that is more than a thousand feet long and one of the last things to be covered by Ice Age sea level rise. Although it's only about 20 feet deep, it raises questions about the lost civilization and its fate. Therefore, there are a few important questions that scientists are still trying to figure out. In 1898, Crete became independent from the Ottoman Empire and Sir Arthur Evans was one of the very first people to explore the island. He found the Palace of Minos, which was really old, 4,000 years. The things he found were different from what people in Bronze Age Greece made. He found round tombs with thick walls that looked like ones used in ancient North Africa. He also found some writing that nobody has been able to read yet, called Linear A and Cretan hieroglyphs. Some people think the Minoans actually came from the Middle East, Turkey, or somewhere else in the Mediterranean. Scientists have tried to study the DNA of people who live on Crete now to figure it out, but they don't really agree on anything yet. A scientist named George Tomato Yiannopoulos works for the University of Washington in Seattle. He's been trying to figure out where the Minoans really came from for more than 10 years. He thought that he could finally solve the mystery by studying the DNA of the Minoans who died a long time ago. One of my motivations when I started the whole thing was to see whether Sir Arthur Evans was right or not, he says. Stomato Yiannopoulos and his team took bone and tooth samples from more than 100 individuals who lived on Crete between 4,900 and 3,800 years ago. They were able to extract mitochondrial DNA from 37 of those samples, which is a type of DNA passed down only from the mother. To make sure their findings were accurate, they conducted their analysis in two different labs, a common practice in ancient DNA research. As a result of the study, scientists found 21 markers in their mitochondrial DNA. Six of those markers were only found in Minoans, but 15 of them were also found in other ancient people who lived in Europe a long time ago. They didn't find any markers in the Minoan DNA that are similar to markers found in African people today. The results of their research are published in an online journal called Nature Communications. According to Stomato Yiannopoulos, it's probable that the Minoans came from groups of people who moved to Europe from the Middle East and Turkey a long time ago. There's evidence from archaeological digs that people were farming on Crete as early as 9,000 years ago, so these early farmers could be the ancestors of the Minoans. Stomato Yiannopoulos thinks that the things that the Minoans made that look like the things the Egyptians made were probably just because people were trading and sharing ideas with each other across the Mediterranean Sea. 
not because there was a big migration of people. A scientist named Wolfgang Hock works at the University of Adelaide in Australia. He studies ancient DNA like Stomatoyanopoulos. Hock thinks that the history of Crete is more complex than just one group of people coming to the island a long time ago. He thinks that different groups of people probably came to Crete at different times, all during the Neolithic period. It's nevertheless good to see some data, if authentic, from this region of Europe contributing to the big and complex puzzle, he says. Stomato Yiannopoulos says that his team's results are not yet complete because they only looked at mitochondrial DNA, which only tells you about one side of a person's family, the mother's side. He's now planning to work with another scientist named Johannes Krauss, who studies ancient DNA at the University of Tübingen in Germany, to look at the nuclear genomes, which tells you about both the mother and the father's sides of the Minoans and other ancient people. They hope that this will help them learn more about the Minoans' history. For the last 30 or 40 years, there's been a growing sense that Minoan Crete was created by people indigenous to the island, says Cyprian Broodbank, a Mediterranean archaeologist at University College in London. He welcomes the latest line of support for this hypothesis. It's good to have some of the old assumptions that Minoans migrated from some other high culture scotched, he says. The Minoan civilization emerged on the island of Crete in the Mediterranean Sea around 9,000 years ago. The Minoans are considered to be one of the most advanced civilizations of their time, with impressive achievements in art, architecture, and engineering. The Minoans were a seafaring people who were highly skilled in navigation and trade. They built ships that were capable of carrying large amounts of cargo, and they established trade routes that connected them to other civilizations in the Mediterranean region. The Minoans were known for their exports of wine, olive oil, pottery, and textiles. The Minoan economy was based on agriculture and trade. The Minoans grew a variety of crops, including wheat, barley, grapes, and olives. They also kept livestock like sheep, goats, and cattle. In addition to farming, the Minoans engaged in fishing and hunting. They harvested fish from the sea and hunted wild animals in the forests and mountains. The Minoans lived in cities and towns that were organized around palaces. These palaces were the centers of political, economic, and cultural life. The palaces were surrounded by walls and had multiple entrances. Inside, there were courtyards, storage rooms, workshops, and living quarters for the royal family and their retinue. The Minoans were skilled architects and engineers. They built their palaces and other structures using a technique called ashlar masonry, which involved cutting stones into precise shapes and fitting them together without mortar. They also built sophisticated drainage systems that carried water away from the palaces and other buildings. 6,000 years ago, the Minoan society was very advanced for its time. They were particularly famous for their intricate jewelry, which was made using gold, silver, and precious stones. The Minoans were also skilled engineers, and they built a complex system of aqueducts and cisterns to provide water to their cities and fields. The Minoans had a very sophisticated culture, which was centered around their religion. They worshipped a number of gods and goddesses, including a mother goddess who was the protector of fertility and childbirth. They also believed in the importance of nature and the elements such as the sun, the moon, and the sea. They held religious festivals throughout the year, which included feasting, music, and dancing. These festivals were important social events, and they helped to strengthen the bonds between different members of the community. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Minoan civilization is their language. The Minoans used a hieroglyphic script that is yet to be deciphered. The script consists of symbols that represent objects and concepts, and it was used on seals, pottery, and other objects. The Minoans also used a linear script, which was a form of writing that was later adopted by the Greeks. Despite the fact that the Minoans lived 4,000 years ago, they were remarkably advanced in many areas, including art, architecture, agriculture, and maritime trade. One of the most striking aspects of the Minoan civilization was their architectural achievements. They were responsible for the construction of some of the most impressive buildings of the ancient world, including the Palace of Knossos, which was the largest and most elaborate palace in the Bronze Age Mediterranean. The palace was a complex series of buildings with multiple levels and over a thousand rooms. It was constructed using advanced engineering techniques, including an intricate system of underground drainage that prevented flooding. The Minoans also built advanced road systems, which were crucial for their maritime trade. They produced a wide range of artifacts, including pottery, sculpture, and frescoes. Many of these artifacts depicted scenes of daily life, such as bull leaping, fishing, and farming. The Minoans were particularly skilled in fresco painting, which involved applying pigments to wet plaster. These paintings were colorful, detailed, and often depicted scenes of nature, such as birds, dolphins, and flowers. Agriculture was another key aspect of Minoan life. The island of Crete was fertile and supported a variety of crops. 
The Minoans were skilled farmers and they used advanced techniques such as crop rotation and irrigation to maximize their yields. They also had a navy, which was used to protect their trade routes and explore new territories. This maritime trade was crucial to the Minoan economy, and it allowed them to accumulate great wealth. Santorini has many wonderful things to offer, but it also poses some dangers due to its active volcano. Unfortunately, around 1650 to 1500 BC, a catastrophe occurred in the town. At the time, the people living in Santorini were unaware that the smell of sulfur in the air and dry springs were signs of imminent eruption. They continued with their daily lives until they were suddenly startled by the loud sound of the volcano erupting, causing them to flee. As they had very little time to escape, they could only gather a few important belongings, some food, and their loved ones. However, the ash and dust in the air moved quicker than the people, making it difficult to see and breathe. The air became thicker and thicker, causing the people to struggle to breathe. Despite this, they continued to try to make their way to the harbor even though they were surrounded by darkness and smoke. Archaeological findings indicate that the island was evacuated in time, as no human remains have been discovered in the area. However, this does not mean that everyone survived. The people who fled Santorini may have drowned in the water, suffocated from the ash, been hit by a shower of stones, or, although not very likely, arrived in Crete. It's unclear what happened to those who made it into the harbor, but the town was covered in volcanic ash, preserving the Minoans' way of life. The reason behind the decline of the Minoan civilization is unclear, but it is evident that they were a major civilization before their downfall due to natural disasters or other unknown factors. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.